Your Halloween picture is very popular. Your fall picture. Voodoo Larry. Is that going to really be your name? That is so dumb. Larry. Get out of here, Larry. Alright, let's see. New video. Oh. I got these down at Goodwill today. They actually had a couple other horror films, but since they raced into a buck, I had to leave them behind. They had uh, Annenville Horror 1 and 2, and they had, uh, oh, I don't remember, oh, Children of the Corn, and I think Salem's Lot. I may buy Salem's Lot again. That movie creeps me out for a TV movie. And this Fresh Hair, which is uh, Bugs Bunny, but... Looks like it's actually worth ten bucks. Probably just a junky version, but it's old. So. Anyway, and Randy Travis, those albums I got down at Goodwill like a week or so ago. They've been sitting around. I probably went through them. They look better when I looked them up down there, and then I look them up on eBay when I get home, and they're, I don't know. I'm going to save them for the flea market. And Randy, I should be able to get twenty bucks for him, so that's cool. And they gave them to me for two for a dollar, so that's cool. Anyway, let's see. What did I get at Salvation Army today? I got this for 99 cents. It's a, uh, I should put this on the tripod, but I guess I'm going to hold it. Uh, Erie Otter stick. Just a wall hanging thing. It was 99 cents. I figured I probably I'll get 9.99 plus the shipping for it. I'll look it up. I doubt. I saw a little bit of Otter stuff. It's not a real big seller. And I bought these for resale. Now I'm going to eat these disgusting lit black licorice things. Uh, I was surprised when I went to... When I got the Salvation Army, there was... I, I started looking over a... Um, Oh, uh, they had a refrigerator dish that was Pyrex. It was orange with the clear lid, and it was like in really nice shape. And they had four ninety nine. I looked it up, and I thought I should get it, but it's heavy, and the prop margin is on there. But it, yeah, it was like going for thirty bucks. It was just really nice, and I like how the thing for orange. But I didn't buy it. But the lady ahead of me in line had it and her stuff. But this was sitting beside it. And I just knew looking at it that it had some value. I hadn't I hadn't seen one for quite a while, so but it looks like maybe a fifty dollar vase. One ninety nine's all in this swung vase if they that's what they call it. It doesn't have any fancy design at the bottom, but it's got that two tone look which is kinda cool and it's got the extra I told uh, I think Hopper said sea monkey <laughs> points. It reminds me of those horns on the sea monkeys. Uh, so yeah, that was probably going to be a good deal. That should pay me for everything I spent tonight, practically. I think you can count in the auction, because I only spent about 35 bucks. I got, I don't know who the lady is. She's one of the ones that's been working at that Salvation Army for a while, but she was giving me a solid today, because they do the half off, and <sighs> pink white and blue were half off and I guess it turned out I did have pink so I was right I did have a set but I said I guess I only have I told her I think I only have uh, uh, two blues so the only the rest just I said it just said charge me normal and stay there for a dollar but she goes and takes one blue one sits it with three and one blue one with the other three and rang me up for 50 cents a thing and just counted them all like they were half price which was pretty cool because so, I can't afford to have too much in these I can't buy as many I got these just to fill it up uh, three sealed Danielle steel things this one I don't know who that creep is but I'm pretty sure that's Jacqueline Smith so that's pretty cool that she's in that one uh, the only reason oh I don't get it. keep this subject this Robert Urich's in this episode. I'm not sure who the girl is. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know who she is. Uh, Robert Urich. Stacy somebody. Darren McGavin. Oh, I want to open it now. I love Darren McGavin. And then the third one has John Ritter in it. And uh, I don't know who that girl is. Who is that? John Ritter. Polly Draper. I don't know who that is. Kevin Kleiner. Huh. Directed by Michael Miller. Don't know who that is. But I figured these, they're not worth much, but three of them together with all, if I put all three of those actors in the title, that should help sell them. They were only $5.99 each before. Huh. 
I'll probably put 20 bucks of free shipping, and then if I gain watchers, I'll send offers. Uh, got two X File videos. This one has the cards. I had a box at the flea market, and now I don't have that. Now I would have had four cards. Uh, and I never could sell the other ones. They laid on my tarp for a dollar. Finally, somebody came along looking at tapes, and they grabbed them. I said, hey, that has the cards in it, too. And they grabbed it. They were really happy getting it for a dollar. Uh, and this one didn't have any cards, so one card might belong in the other tape. But, so I got two X-File tapes. Probably just going to collect them up. Maybe I'll get enough to work on. This is why I started even looking at the tapes today. I found Cat from Outer Space. And I remember seeing this at the theater when I was a kid, and it was funny. It doesn't hold up well, but I remember Roddy McDowell's The Voice of the Cat. I don't watch it. Henry Morgan's in it. Ken Barry from R Mayberry RFD, or whatever the hell that show was called. Uh, who else? Was somebody else? Oh, Sandy Duncan, if anybody remembers her. I don't know whatever happened to Sandy Duncan. I don't know if she's still alive. I think I looked her up not too long ago, and she was. And I got Porky Pig. That's kind of, I think, worth ten bucks. I don't know. I may stick it with the bugs. There was another, I thought there was another, I got this one up there too. That's loony. Happy birthday, bugs. Fifty loony years. Not worth a lot, but I may stack them together with the other one there. Maybe sell them that way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't care. Ah, what did I just break? Oh my god. Did I break something? All right, and I got one Stephen King book. I just never can remember how they charge stuff. I guess it's they move the decimal point over, so it's 59 cents, but it's also yellow, so it's not half off. So that's pretty cool. It's cheap enough for my set if I don't have a dream catcher already. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't know. I got quite a lot going. I need to get these uh, these listed. Huh. Nope, I don't have Dreamcatcher. I have too much garbage. That's what I got. Uh-oh. Ow, quit biting my foot. What are you doing? Ow, behave. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta check things. We can't use this footage, kid. We're gonna put it at the end for the credits. Alright, uh... Okie doke. Um, ow, what are you doing? Quit biting me. I have a cat biting my foot. Ow, stop. Uh, ow, ow. I spent 20 bucks on a stack of old MJ stuff. Uh, these are color forms. Ow, stop. I don't know. I see they're, they're well taken care of, I think. They look like they're all there on their cards. So that, ow, the box isn't perfect. It's getting a little sticker. But, I don't know. Uh, hopefully they're worth 20 bucks by themselves. They'll pay me for everything. I'd seen most of it in the, foot, or in the thing, so I looked up what I could figure out. But there's this book. I see it's all creased up. Poor Michael. He's still black then. <laughs> 19, uh... What year is that? 89? Uh... Ow, stop! Ow, this cat is crazy. Stop it. Breaking things. Uh, Magic of Michael Jackson. Giant collection of facts, photos, and interviews. That's cool. Even this is messed up. It's not worth enough. I may put a couple things in a lot if they don't have a lot of value and just sell them that way. But got a spiral notebook. I wish I had to kiss ones. I had a couple at one time. I had the covers for a bunch of them. Now this one's pretty cool. I don't remember what album that is when he did had the old rock and the old yellow vest ah, and yellow blue tie. Uh, before that Pepsi commercial, '84. That's off the wall. Now off the wall. I don't remember. I'm not a big Michael Jackson fan, but I do like a lot of his music. Uh, and I also got a matching folder for that. Uh, could be better, but these folders always get bent. That looks in pretty good shape, though. Forty-three cents at Kmart. Also, nineteen eighty-four. And the last thing, I'm thinking there was more. Geez, I feel cheated now. It seems like I got cheated out of something. Sealed jigsaw puzzle, but the plastic split not, unfortunately. But that's still pretty cool. He's got his uh, what do they call that? Like a collar, a uh, school 
Pets insignia because he went to a special school with monkeys and llamas. Little sticker thing, big tear right there. So I don't know. At least it's still technically sealed, so I don't have to worry about parts in this. And it may not be minty. Michael and friends, 500 piece, and I don't have to put it together to find out this there. And it's made by Color Forms, huh? That's neat. Huh? Cool. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I wish I wouldn't paid 20 bucks, but. <laughs> I would like to have about 10 in it. Let's make some decent profit off it. The mail's going to go up and the, how long it's going to take going to take and go up. This cat's going to lick its butt. Quit licking your butt. Oh, there's still a few things out in the van and I will have to get to them soon. I didn't get this book on because it fell off the desk onto the floor and I never took pictures of it. Cow slip. I, it's got to be named after, like, when you slip on a cow pie, you slide. That would make sense. But, uh, cow slip, or more cautionary study, or stories, 1811. That's pretty old. Look at that, how old this is. I don't think it's 1811. I'm pretty sure this would be junk by now, if it was really that old. I don't know when they remade it again. It's it's not a car uh, hard cover. I think that's how you can tell them apart. But it was made by Ralph Warfield and Warfield Booksellers, Hartford, Connecticut. So I guess I could look it up and see see how long these guys were in business. But I mean, I guess it's possible it's that early, but I don't know. I don't, some signs of the book do show that it could be that old, but and I guess if it was kept in a box or something, protected, it would last. Hmm. Price was funky on it anyway. Well, I gotta get this other crap on it, says. A Garfield letter opener. Hmm. Oh, I still got this wrist thing. I have to put cats in our cat from outer space in the VCR and let it play while I'm doing other work. Okay, I don't know. I'll probably finish this video in the morning. Hmm. It just takes one bulb, so I think it's alright. I don't think there was any things in the top of that when it had open holes. So, yeah, I don't know. I've seen the comps are like anywhere from like 20 to 30, 40 dollars, but the 40 are better. These are just flowers. So I don't know what these are. We're going to be worth. They're too big to really put them together. Somebody just sell one at a time. I don't know. Yeah. Three bucks for box of toys. There's a Nerf gun. Pretty cool. I have things for it somewhere. Uh, kind of Iron Man. Maybe that's worth a buck or two at the flea market next season. Uh, and two G.I. Joe's. Whoa, whoa. What was that crybaby? Kitty, kitty. Larry. Oh, what happened? He sneezed. 
their remake, but somebody wrote on these poor guys' face. I don't know if they're supposed to be face tattoo. <laughs> this guy's got to uh, somewhere. Whoa. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think they have any shoes. Another broken. Oh, it is broken. Throwing it away, Papa. I don't know who this guy is. He looks familiar, but I can't place. What is it? Is it DC? Or is it Marvel? No, it's Marvel 2008. Huh, can't remember. Oh, there's some other odds and odds. They got the helmet for that guy. That's cool. And this is a Transformer car. I'm assuming it's probably not worth much. That's, uh, hmm. I don't see it going on. Uh, there's a sword, and it's special enough they stuck it in this bag, but I can't place so. it. I swear I just had something that uses those. But got a bunch of Sesame Street. I don't know who, how many we got. Oh my god, I got way too much crap. I got all the stuff that's out on my porch now. <laughs> hey, there's a boxing thing that I never put on. Alright, let's get over that. Oh, I got a, uh, yeah, what's it? What was it? Not Bebop. Turtles. Um, I don't know, I can't remember that stupid character's name. My Raimi and I watched a lot of that. Uh, anyway, so I do have Big Bird. That's like the younger bird. Well, I guess they're probably, you know, er Ernie Sir looks young. And then I got a bird. Oh, sorry, Ernie. Got it. A Felmo. Oh, uh, don't knock everybody over. Ah, uh, there we go. We got a match. And there's. Wait, is that Ernie? Or... Wait, that is Ernie. That one doesn't belong with the set. And I'm gonna no. That's not that guy. Ah, uh, cool. The count. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever ran into a count figure. His wounds are a little bit scuffy. What year are these? Applause made him. China. So they're not real old. I got one soldier. Do you get thrown in the trash, buddy? That's right where you're going. Oh, there's the missing guy, Oscar the Grouch. What's he eating? Is that a worm? He's got a pet inchworm. And one left. Oh, I don't remember this one's name. It's that little bear. Hmm, I don't remember. So, and I don't have any boots or anything for my soldier, but I do have one helmet. Isn't that awesome? Um, yeah, I'll just put them together. I'm sneaking around for the kid. So, probably put all these sesame characters on. I wish I had another uh, figure to go with that. But Barney, one's not going to cut that. So, I don't know. I hope that's not a waste of three dollars. It should be alright. That nerd going to get me a bucket of flea market. God, it could be a good one. So, I don't know. Every time I find Nerf guns, they don't seem to be worth anything. But not many people sell them for hundreds of dollars, so I don't know what Nerf guns are about. Well, I never did anything with the stuff from the charity shop last week. A toilet, they had a rural toilet paper. They charged me 50 cents for this knitted skeleton. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's supposed to be. They just shoved toilet paper in there, and I got one of their buckets, because I thought it was pretty cool. Blue. And I missed a box of cocks as a real one had a older pumpkin in it and I let this other girl buy it. I got too cheap. It wasn't really any other decorations, but it was well worth that. And I like that stuff, so I hate when I don't splurge. Spend a little more. What do you think, Popeye? Hmm? Okay. Don't be ignoring your fans. Light set up bought today for a dollar. Uh, part time pickers are a little loud in the background. They have little wedges on them. So, who's that cute little kid? Uh, the brother, big ears. Uh, we'll go some witches on what should be pumpkins. They were a dollar, saw the box. Oh, I'm gonna do a quickie to get this over with so I can finish a video. Uh, I got Sally Seal for two dollars up there last night. And look at how cute it is. It looks gross. Ha! <laughs> Probably doesn't work. Better look out, Leia. Might get you. Oh god, it's creepy. <laughs> Yeah.
Well, it worked. That's cool. Probably not worth anything. I don't like Stop getting stuck, you dummy. Whoa, do a trick. Aw, oh, hey, you did it. Look out. Oh, that would have been a trick. Watch her try to get up there. Come on, Leia, get up on there. Come on, fatty. See, you can't even do it. Yeah, here's some stuff I got at Goodwill today. I don't know if I'm going to do any more of the auction crap, but uh, I got a oyster head. I don't know what that is. What? Uh, and I got a uh, rum sodomy and the lash by the po pogies, I think they're pogues, I guess it's called. 80s, not really worth much. I thought I'd give them a try. Cheap, resell it. I had five sealed Hitchcock movies. A couple. Hey, did I already do this? Eh, maybe not. I guess maybe I was talking to somebody else about them, but. Yeah, they're not in the great family plot. I wouldn't mind seeing them in my own frenzy. I don't know which ones actually sold. A couple of them sell by themselves, but I'm going to list all five together, I think, for so much money. And hopefully they'll sell quick being it's spooky season. You know, they're not really horror films. This was in the box last night at the auction. Most of it's junk. There's a few VHS, but most of the CDs, I'm just going to swipe the cases. It's Looney Tunes. Spotlight Collection. Uh, Rock Hudson Doors Day collection. I don't think it's worth anything either. And this is one of the videos I wanted to watch. It's just door to door. It's not worth anything. I mean, Ron Liebman, Liebman or Lisa Howard. I don't even know any of these people. Ha! Huh. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's on media. That's if it was Freddy Krueger, it'd be worth something on media. So, yeah, that was from there today. Oh, my back room's starting to smell musty, or I don't know if the roof started leaking, or it's just whatever. The whole trailer should be burned down. Uh, I got this at Goodwill. It was a uh, dollar ninety-nine. It's like twenty-five bucks online. New in the box, uh, so that's cool. Um, found this at Goodwill for a dollar ninety-nine. I don't know if I got that today or not. I didn't show it. Maybe it was yesterday. But it has the holy water bottle. Uh, sometimes they're okay to sell. I don't know. I might just steal the holy water bottle and sell it. <laughs> sell the other thing. thing. I found my Beavis and Butthead shirt in case I didn't show it already. It had chipmunk goo on it because they were nesting in the box it was in. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty rare shirt. And their butts are showing on the back. So, uh, I'm going to probably, uh, List that for maybe $199. Sounds unbelievable, but it's a 94 MTB, and I can't find that one, just like my other Beavis and Butthead. And I had a guy from Erie who was born on my same birthday, not the year, but same day. Uh, he bought a lot of shirts off me, and sometimes I think I think I got took two less from him. I should have got more, because I've seen what people were paying online and what they pay other people for stuff, but it seems like I get gypped. So anyway, this shirt I think is going to get listed. I may notify him to tell him it's on there. I don't know what I'm going to start for. I decided to quit wearing it because I don't want to wear it out anymore. I cannot find this shirt. All you can find is uh, Work Sucks. None of them say Customer Sucks. It's Com Images shirt, just like the other one, 94 MTV. be nice if it was a little earlier, but it's definitely cool. Burger World. So I'm going to sell it, I guess. A couple other old shirts I should sell because they're worth something. And I hate to see them getting more wore out than they are already. But yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess hopefully we'll get some of this crap listed before it gets any worse in here. Look at this mess. There's a $100 record lying there. It's more like probably a $200 record, maybe three. And where's it laying? Right there on top of those Christmas things that I did not list either. I have so much junk sitting around, and I'm trying to make sense of it all, but it's not easy. I did just work on the shed a little bit, finally, and hopefully I'll get some of this on tonight if I don't take a nap, and, uh, uh, yeah, 
Hopefully uh, the dumpster, my brother and them did their last thing for the year and filled the dumpster clear up. Didn't even ask if somebody like me that sources stuff might want to make some money before they threw it in the landfill because it's a whole dumpster full and everything's underneath the garbage and all these totes they threw out. I could have used some lids for totes. I kind of glanced at them to see if I could find them because I got a couple in the shed without lids. Probably stuff from the auction. But it'd be nice to get lids on them then I can use them for storage of my own crap. But uh, I'm going to take a load to Goodwill and I resorted at least three totes tonight. That kept about one tote full so far for the flea market next year. I didn't want to give it away or throw it away. Burn some junk. But anyway, I guess uh, hopefully I'll get some of this crap on and. Uh, I don't know. Never got a hold of me. Oh, I meant to give that. To, I don't know who's going to get this Steeler scarf that I got. But I don't know. I'll figure something out. I should get this Corona Extra <laughs> thing on. That's kind of cool. But yeah, hopefully I get. I found my, my Michael Jackson magazines in the shed that I never sold at the flea market. Nobody showed any interest. So I'm going to get them listed. All that crap I got last night listed. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. Mm hmm. I'm going to a lot of classic, awesome guys Hefel. that are all dead now. Quain Stevenson, Henry Morgan, a couple guys I can't name, and then these actors that are wearing so many things. That guy or Dick Hoffman. That guy in the background. Oh, guy right there. Kind of tons of Disney. Let's see. That guy. That guy. There's the final Oh, that's it, Professor. I'll call tomorrow. Two MASH guys in the I same movie. Hmm, weird. Grapes. Yeah, it's a very special bonus. <laughs> now, it's a goodwill today. This is uh, Wednesday. I picked up some. Uh, I guess there may be some kind of hors d'oeuvre forks, but they're all skulls. I'm try to hurry up and sell them for on eBay. They're probably not worth anything. 99 cents. Found some, they had some new movies down there. I was shocked. But, uh, yeah, this is still sealed. I don't know if it has a lot of value, but it's, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I wish it was the, uh, earlier release. That'd be worth some big bucks now. It's funny, because I just, uh, I think I included it already in this video. I just watched Cat from Outer Space. Yes, I know I put it in here. And I go to the store today, and it's the other one. I don't know which one. I had the paperback when I was a kid. What a nerd. It actually isn't as bad as I thought. And there's a lot of cool people showing up in it. Anyway, so that cost me a dollar. I wish they'd lower the price back down. And then there was a bunch of DVDs. I got... Firefly. It looks pretty new for a buck. It was not marked up for box set. I don't know if they maybe they thought it was a VHS. I don't know. Um, the sealed Batman, super villains, Catwoman. It's I don't know. I don't know if it was. A, I'll resell it at the market. It's sealed too. Um, oh wait, I got that at the other the uh, Associated Charities because they had a new box of movies. I also got Grandma's Boy Unrated. So. Yeah. Never mind, that was not from Goodwill. Here was Goodwill, another sealed set, Ultraman, complete series. Uh, not really worth much, but it's sealed, so either I'll sell it next year. I really don't want to invest, but I'd, I guess I'd prefer to pick this stuff up and store it over the winter. But uh, I may list some of it. This is probably the one that's worth the most. It's still sealed. Looks like it's like 20 bucks if it's not sealed. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Holmes. What? Homes on Homes. Let's make it right. I think I watched a little bit of that. Then I got one that's open. Masters Universe. Com volume 1. 20 episodes. Not really worth anything. I can sell it. Make a couple of bucks off it at the flea market. Uh, Anna Music 2 I think is actually worth a little bit. But it's got the paper with it and still so has the booklet. I'm sure I've seen this. But I don't know. It might have been on MTV or something at one time. Maybe used to put a lot of that stuff. It says uh, 2005 though, but it's got to be early. New computer animation. Hmm. I guess 2005 would still be early. Sean the Sheep. Almost left it. It's sealed. Not really worth much either. Maybe $9.99. Uh, I got this box set. Soap. Uh, it's open. Um, complete first season. Not Also not worth much. It'll be a sellable at the flea market. Sealed. Pink Panther. 
cartoon classics. I thought about opening this because it's 27 original cartoons. Uh, I could just watch them on YouTube or something. The library has a really good set of this stuff. The Aardvark and the Anteater. These look like they're all at least all Pink Panther. I'd prefer if they're going to make Pink Panther to do it that way. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and another sealed set, uh, Waitress. Never seen it, don't really care. Ten pie recipe cards inside. Nice. Okay. Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that, uh... Oh, it's a film. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a film? Oh, I thought it was a series. Huh. I don't even know if I looked it up. Maybe I thought because it was a TV series, but that's kind of nice. I like special sets, so... And it's sealed, so... Oh, well. In ten years, when I'm dead, it'll be worth something. Uh, and I stopped to get some boxes of spank me's, and I uh, got a couple pizzas. I had four, but one's gone. So that will do it. I think. Did I miss something? Hmm? No? No? No?